Moon Ghost Sugar. That's a really good idea. Now's probably a great time to use some of this. Oh shit, I didn't mean to use two of them. Ah! That was really stupid. If only it worked double. Alright. Ugh. These stupid rooftops make it hard to hit with shurikens. Jesus. Titty fucking Christ. Yeah, okay, I have a res though. Out of here, jackass! Oh, oh, did it. This guy is getting stealth killed immediately. I'm not screwing around with him. Who saw me? Who? Oh, it's another one up here! Jesus. Maybe I can lose him. Nope, can't get up there. He's on that side. I need to rely on stealth for this, guys. It's the only way I'm getting through this unscathed. Come on, buddy. Come on. Wow, you're ugly as shit, aren't you? get a little bit of health back because of that beautiful skill. Whoa. Is somebody else up here? Did that guy from down there jump up here just to fight me up here? Yes, he did. Damn it! Lying pretty hard on the shurikens right now, but they're coming in clutch. Very happy about that. Also, would not say no to an idol. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, we know how to deal with this guy, right? Um, let me grab some of these. Hey, who threw a jar at me? That was mean. I have feelings too, you know. Every time I come up here- OH GOD damn. Right. We have an entrance up there. Hold on, let me look back around here. This is the same roof that had the kite. Okay, yep. Looked around up there. There's another kite! Kites everywhere! Yo, if another flying guy comes in, I'm gonna cry. Ah! God damn it! Oh god! I told you guys I was gonna cry. I told you. Oh, I hate this game. Ah! Uh, pellet. I need pellets now. And stealth attack? Didn't work. He knew where I was. No, 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 no. Jesus. Fuck this area. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm going inside. There's got to be an idol in there, right? Either that or a freaking boss fight waiting for me. One of those two. One of those two things. Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. Thank freaking God. That was rough. Just 
Yes! Yes, Gourd Seed. We're going back. We're going back right the hell now. Because I need that. Yeah, so... I, I guess I have to assume... That... The, uh... The kites indicate... A flying guy is going to come down and attack you. I wonder if you can parry that. Seems like... You could. You can parry just about everything in this game, right? It's probably exceedingly difficult to do, though. Emma, give me more healing, please. I'm getting my butt kicked. Yay. Okay. And while we're here, let's just check on any upgrades we can get for our prosthetic. Actually have some decent cash on hand. Gouging top. This is supposed to be really good. For some reason, it's unavailable. I don't understand. I guess because I have to buy this first. But I'm missing one... Um, how do I see what that is? Scrap iron. I need one scrap iron to upgrade this first, and then I can buy gouging top. Damn it. Super unfortunate. Spring-loaded flame vent. Who cares about that? Not this guy. Phantom kunai will be cool when we get there someday. <laughs> Maybe. All right, well, I got to find one more scrap iron before I can really do anything of value here. I could make the spring load firecracker. Don't think I'm gonna. Thanks, old man. You're always here for me when I need you. Well, I guess... I guess I'll just spend all this money on spirit emblems then. I want to keep doing that until I have 13... Um, 13. Why did I say 13? Where the hell did I get 13? I want to keep doing that until I have over a thousand of them. And then that's when I'll stop just blowing all my extra money on them. Then I'll probably start actually taking the time to go and buy coin purses so I can actually store my money. Okay. So... Where was that place we just found? <laughs> it's not going to be in the outskirts, right? Uh, this place. Upper Tower Antechamber. So we're in the Upper Tower now. Whew, I'm kind of glad to be back inside, man. Those Tengu guys. They seem kind of similar to those two dudes with the spears we fought back in the mountain area. Senpo Temple. And those guys were weird. It just feels weird to fight them. And I'm not sure if you can actually counter the spinny attack things that they do. Like, you can block through it most of the time, but they'll also just kind of, like, bulldoze right through your block. And take a lot of your posture with it. So there's just... They're weird. I don't like them. Okay. Back indoors. I hear a guy. Hello. Sorry about that, buddy. I'm sure you are an okay dude. But the game allowed me to stealth kill you. And that means... I was supposed to. Okay. Alright, we got lots of dudes in here. These guys look like an even new enemy type. Even newer. What do I want to be in here with? The Tengu did do burning damage, so maybe I should keep dousing powder on. Didn't go sugar. Sure. Yeah, I'm fine with what I got now, I guess. It's possible I'll want some ash as well, because that can be really handy, but I just... I haven't really started incorporating that into my fighting style. That's the thing that'll happen out of, like, absolute necessity, I think. How many dudes are in here? And can I stealth kill them all? So far, so good. Who's that dude? There's a lot going on in this place, guys. Oh, that person turned around? 
Damn it. I just assumed that that old bitch would keep going on her merry way. And she didn't. Oh, look, I can grapple down there. I might need to. But now how do I get back up? I don't think I can get back up. <laughs> uh, what have I done, guys? Where have I put myself? Oh, look at all those enemies down there. Dude. Okay, at least none of them are bosses, it seems like. I can't believe I can't grapple back up there. That really sucks. Okay. I guess I'll just go fuck myself then. Okay, try and stealth kill this guy. Frickin' nailed it! Nailed it, guys! Okay, let's, uh... Let's fall back a little bit. Wow. Okay, this isn't going well. Even a little bit. There we go. Just had to get my footing, apparently. Eel liver, a miraculous drug capable of banishing lightning offered at the Ashina clan altar. Greatly reduces the amount of damage received from lightning attacks as well as the shock status abnormality. Great, so apparently that's going to be a thing. Lightning is a force for the gods. Eels, while small, are relatives of dragons. Even a god's force can be suppressed, so probably not for long. Oh, lovely. Can't wait until we have to deal with lightning damage. Oh, look, a door. Is this going to open up a shortcut for me? Where is this exactly? Oh. There's guys over there. Oh, Jesus. We got a spear guy out here. Okay, let's do this then. I've killed your kind before. Okay, you've got a you've got a sweep, which is I was not expecting. That's what I was expecting right there. Yep. Okay. That could have went worse. Ooh, thanks for the monies. Money, money, money. I love it. I see an idol out there. Is this a brand new area? I know there's a lot of stuff left inside to explore. In the spot I just came from. Where the hell is this? Okay, this is a brand new old uh, sculptor's idol. So let's um let's not rest for now. So I just kind of want to look around here. Okay. Okay. That guy's gonna try and fire a mortar directly up my ass every time I show my face up there. There's gotta be a stealthy way to take him out, right? Oh. Okay. That's weird. That conversation just happened. I didn't have to eavesdrop. And that 
kind of made me realize we haven't had the opportunity to eavesdrop for a long time. But I really don't think I can eavesdrop on these guys. I guess you're really supposed to hear that. The, the game really wants you to hear that, regardless of whether you eavesdrop or not. So a rascal in a little black hat. That's who I'm looking for. Oh, hello, spear guy. You don't know that all your friends are dead. And you don't know that you're next. And now you don't know anything else either. Except Oblivion. What? Oh. Okay. Somebody's shooting fire at me. Let's see. Ash. Coin purse. Sugar. Nothing new. Got more mortars being launched. Ugh! Scary. Very scary. Not a fan. Oh, look, I can grapple on top of this thing, too. Okay, what's that over there? I don't think I recognize that spot. I feel like maybe I should. Uh, if you guys have never heard me talk about this before, you should know that I have an absolutely terrible sense of direction and geography. It's one of my main failings as a human being. I'm just terrible at directions and all that stuff, okay? I apologize. I don't know why I am the way I am. I just know that I am. I don't know. That's just the way I am. Oh, that's the spot that leads down to the Great Serpent. I see it now, because that's the Sculptor's Idol down there. Yep. We went through that a long time ago, guys. This is the spot where I was saying, I don't think I can get there right now. And look, here we are. It took a while to get back here. <laughs> Black gunpowder. Okay, that's an upgrade item. Good get, I presume. You guys remember that Great Serpent shit? That was a really cool part of the game. It just kind of felt really out of place. I was actually kind of hoping he would come back at some point. And he still could. It's just... Yeah, we haven't seen him for a while. So, like, I don't know. I hope he comes back at some point, because that was just really cool. The whole spectacle of that, I enjoyed it a lot. Hope that guy doesn't see me. Nice. Stealth. I love it. Oh, it's my favorite thing to do. Is to actually be stealthy. Successfully. Just go launch your mortars at another man, bitch. Who else is up here? Somebody's up here. Okay, who saw me just now? Oh, there you are. Good night to you. This whole area can just go to sleep. Right. Okay. I feel like I'm pretty far off the beaten path now, guys. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. I think I gotta get back inside. But we have a very handy idol in there that we can access whenever we want, so it'll be fine. Alright. You have to have a bit of a lead-up before you do the running jump. You can't just do it whenever you want, like from the spot you're standing in. It's gotta be like that. Thank you for the sugar. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, you're friendly. It's a friendly rat. 
かくしつこくって嫌になるぞめんどくせえうんおめえはヨタカの衆かいやまあそうだろうな風情が違えだがどうやら同業だ俺は黒笠の無事なおめえは<笑>愛想のないこったしつこいおってに仏頂面の忍び<笑>アシナの連中も外で騒いでなまったくいい日だねお主抜けに行こうまあそんなところだところでよちょっと銭がいるようなんだが of course you are. 品はあれど裁くあてがねえおめえみてえなやつを待ってたところだぜ、uh, oh, he's, I, I thought he was going to be asking for money straight up Oh, look at this. He's got... Wow, he's got some interesting things. Okay, so let's read through these. Yasha Riku's Sugar. It's a sugar candy made in Sampo Temple, sustaining Yasha Riku's blessing. Halves max vitality and posture while granting a large attack power boost. Oh, one of those types of items. I gotcha. Bite the candy and take the Yasha Riku stance to impart its inhuman benediction. Forbidden at the temple, this candy was distributed far and wide in exchange for donations towards costly undying research. And then some bite downs. This is... Um, the thing that we take to suicide. Still haven't, still haven't really figured out why we would want that. Uh, we do have like one though. And then Iron Fortress, an iron fan made in the far west can be fit into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. Experienced iron rib fan users can deflect arrows and even bullets using this tool. So we can deflect. Okay, because I was gonna say, I can already block them, but I guess I can't deflect them. Passed down through generations of assassins serving Senpo Temple, it wouldn't be surprising if the next owner decided its weight was impractical. Very, very cool, guys. I sort of want that right now. And then the Anti-Air Death Blow text. Compendium on the Shinobi Martial Art Anti-Air Death Blow, skill unlocked upon acquiring this item. A technique which serves the Shinobi who is not bound by the Earth in battle. Leap towards an opponent who has exposed himself in midair and strike, killing him before he hits the ground. Wow. On any opponent in the air? That seems not correct. But if it is... Wow. Okay, let's see if I can... make 2800 sen right now. Because I want both of those things. I concur. For real? Okay, buddy. Yeah, ideally, I'd like to not have to come back here. Because he's kind of far out of the way. I'm not even sure like where I am right now. So, let's see about... Making some of this money. Let's see how many of these I have. So I've got... Oh, I don't have as many as I thought I did. The Bulging Coin Purse. I'm going to assume that gives me a thousand. Because these give me a hundred and the heavy one gives me five. So it makes sense that this is... A thousand. You know what? Let's just try it, man. Can I uh, use it from here? No. Pretty god, I'm not wasting this. Yep, that's a thousand. So, okay, now I need to kind of prioritize. <laughs> what I want here. Um, I could eke out enough for the Iron Fortress, but I can't afford both. I've got to pick one or the other right now. Shit. There are a lot of projectile type enemies in this area. But anti air death blow sounds amazing. Oh, damn it. Let's keep it simple, guys. Let's go with this one. And I'll come back for that as soon as I think I am able to. 
So, do I just have that unlocked now? I don't have to use that item or anything? Completely forgot about this. The Jizo statue. No idea what that's for. Yeah, okay. Let's throw the ash on there. We still have an entirely other type of thing here that's locked. When am I going to be able to use this? Whatever that is. Alright, let's go to skills. There it is. Anti-air death blow. Near an enemy high up in the air. Perform a death blow on an airborne enemy. That seems like the kind of thing that I'm not really going to get the chance to do all that often. Because it sounds kind of hard to pull off. But like the first time I do... It's going to be the most incredible thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I hope it happens soon. There's just not a lot of enemies that you fight in the air. You know, I probably should have went with the, the fan. But whatever, I don't care. Oh, he's not that far away. I forgot we had an idol here. Yeah, that could be worse. We'll be able to get back here easily when we want to. Oh, we got tombstones here. Dragon's Blood Droplet! Hey, we can restore the sickness with that. When I need to. I'm kind of amazed I haven't gotten any more Dragon Rot up to this point. But yeah, we have that. I know I can buy at least one more, so we've got two more uses for that. Can I examine the tombstones here? Not so much. Okay. All right, so where the hell am I? <laughs> That's my big question right now. I gotta figure out how to get back inside the temple place. I mean, I could just teleport with the idol, but you know what, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try and make my way back on foot. I'm just gonna explore a little bit. Hello. All right, the guys on the bridge, I forgot about them. Can I reach them? Right. Hold up, is this... Is this the other side? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, don't worry guys, I've got enough salt for everybody in this camp. Especially when I'm fighting a general. Oh, God. Even against this guy. Ooh, he jumped. I wonder if I could have done it there. Okay. All right. All right, buddy. Oh, I really want to do that. Fuck. I need to heal, though. Oh, hey. Enough of that, buddy. Come on, jump again. Do it. Jump up. No, okay, you know what? That's fine. Go ahead. Oh! Get out of the corner. All right. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Jump. Jump up! Get a bitch! Fuck you! Jump up! Do it! Do it! Okay. I'm gonna let you get away with that, because I want you to jump at me. 
See, you're just... You're being so disagreeable right now. All right, buddy. <laughs> All I wanted was for him to jump. He's just being a real jerk about it, guys. Just won't let me do my midair death blow. And making me really sad. Fuck you. I killed you eight times already, but I didn't. Okay, wasn't ready for it that time. Cause now I'm fighting you for real. Cause you wouldn't stop being an asshole before. Piece of shit. I'm mad at that guy. Just being a real jerk, guys. Just, just a real a-hole. All right. Now it is time to rest. We'll see if he comes back. Everybody else is going to come back, too. <laughs> Including Spear Guy. Oh, Man, now I'm just sandwiched here between so many enemies. your turn, jerk nuts. Well, if nothing else, guys, I'm taking out spear dudes a lot easier than I used to, and that feels pretty good. Also, with two points, let's see if I can buy something now. Midair deflection, run and slide. <laughs> those just I haven't ever encountered a scenario where I'm like, man, I really wish I had those skills. Same with this one. Vaulting over a posture broken enemy. I'm just kinda like, eh. We have Fang and Blade and Knight's Jar Slash. Fang and Blade might be cool, especially with the axe. But also I should probably really look at this stuff first. Recover posture upon executing a successful death blow. I've gotten into some scenarios lately where I can see how that would be useful. It's few and far between, but I, I can see it. And also, here's a Sheena Cross. Combat art Ashina Cross. From a sheath stance, draw the blade at high speed. Cost spirit emblems to use. Hold the stance to intercept at will. A secret technique of the Ashina style devoted to the mastery of a swift kill. Draws a cruciform cut in the blink of an eye. So fast it could sever the arm of Shura, or so boasts Isin Ashina. So you hold R1 and L1 to enter the sheath stance, release R1, cancel sheath stance, leave sheath battle stance, release R1, Ashina cross. Is anybody else really confused about this? <laughs> it costs spirit emblems, so it must be a pretty decent move, and I guess it would replace the Ichimanji, because it's a combat art. You can only have one of those equipped at a time. Oh, I'm going to save up a point and get Flowing Water, though. That's the one I really need. Reduce damage uh, to posture when attacked by an enemy with a sword. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need that. Alright, um... Man, there's so much going on right now. I'm in the middle of this really interesting area. I'm actually really enjoying running around here and... Fighting these challenging dudes and finding this new stuff. This is what I live for in video games. So this is really cool. And I'm having a good time here, guys. And uh, when we come back, we'll probably try and go across the bridge. Um, maybe screw around with that that strong guy. Because he has that jumping attack. I really want to do a mid-air death blow on him. I don't know if it's even possible. But i got to at least experiment and see if I can make it happen. So yeah, we'll try and do that. And then we'll keep exploring and uh, go from there. Alright, thanks a lot, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode of Seiki Row. Take care.